Founded in the 13th century, the fortified town of Shingeti was a commercial crossroads between North Africa and Sub-Saharan Africa. This desert metropolis was the seventh holy city of Islam and a symbol of the Sahara's nomadic culture. Shingeti was known for its scholars and was, in its glory years, one of Islam's pillars of knowledge. It is said that every building housed a library. Today, there are only five libraries left, only three of which are still in use. Saif is one of the last remaining librarians. Did you know that it was distant cousins of our family who introduced tea to Mauritania? People didn't used to drink tea. They infused roots. Herbal tea? Yeah, they drank herbal tea. My grandmother always used to say, I must stop drinking all this tea. But the problem is, as soon as you've washed your face in the morning, you fancy a cup of tea. When it gets to midday, tea is a must. And after lunch, well, if you don't drink tea, it's as if you haven't had lunch. Tea at four o'clock in the middle of the afternoon is another must. And at night you need a cup of tea too. So, of course, she didn't manage to cut down at all. <laughs> Just like every morning, Saif is getting ready to go to work in the family library. But today is a special day. His nephew Mohammed is starting work alongside him as a librarian's apprentice. In Mauritania, every tribe has its function. There are warriors and blacksmiths, but we are Zwayas. Zwaya means teacher, someone who carries books. We are here to teach and inform. I want to carry on this tradition and work with manuscripts. Here we are at last. This is the library door. I'll show you how to open it. Look at that. And mind you, don't mistake it for a toothbrush. <laughs> yeah. You have to find a notch inside. Uh, once you find the hole, you jiggle it and... Hey, presto! It opens. I'm not immortal. A young member of the family needs to take over from me. Look at these. Our ancestors kept these manuscripts in trunks or in sacks, sometimes in incredible conditions. These cardboard boxes contain our culture. These manuscripts have all been catalogued. For example, under T, you've got theology, and A is for astrology. It's all been properly indexed. And inside there are treasures to be found, some dating from the 15th century. Here, for example, you've got a summary of the writings of Imam Mustafa Halil. He was a theologian. You need to be extremely careful when you open them. The manuscripts can't withstand the sweat on your hands, or sand, or dust. Look, one part is written in red, and another part in black. The pagination is very unusual. You'll only see that in these works. The last words written here are copied again at the top of the following page. It's a form of pagination. Oh, yes, I see it. Here and here. That's right. Follow me. I'm going to show you some others in broad daylight. This is an astrophysics book, which dates back to the 18th century. The West had scholars too, but the Arabs were the first to explore the sciences of astronomy and mathematics. 
Here you can already see the constellations for Cancer and Libra. The Arabs knew that the Earth was round and that it revolved long before Galileo and Copernicus. Where did these books come from? How do they all come together? Uh, it depends. Some of these books were written here by members of our family, and some were acquired elsewhere during pilgrimages and business trips. They were bought, exchanged, or given to us out of friendship. And sometimes they contain knowledge that we memorized and then transcribed. That is a skill that has set the inhabitants of Cinquetti apart over the years. Thanks to the conservation efforts of librarians like Saif, the precious manuscripts of Shingeti, the Sorbonne of the desert, have resisted the onslaught of time. But nowadays, it is the libraries themselves which are threatened. All around Shingeti, the desert is advancing, the result of climate change caused by human activity. Adra's old wall towns are gradually becoming submerged in sand. At the request of Saif, Muhammad has gone off to visit the libraries in another ancient town, 130 kilometers from Shingeti. Wadan, a 14th century fortified city, is also listed as a cultural heritage site. Here too, the city is suffering from the ravages of time, desertification and the rural exodus. Despite these perils, a group of villagers has sworn not to let Wadan and its traditions die. Today, they are preparing for the Festival of Ancient Cities, which will take place in a few months. Hello. Welcome. Saif told me you were coming. Come and join us. It's a traditional game, a sort of leapfrog. When they pass from childhood to adulthood, the young must try to find a place for themselves in society. The weakest will suffer at the hands of the strongest. They will be beaten and jumped over. It's almost a test for them. Why are they touching their heels with their tongues? What does that mean? It's a game of dexterity. You are upside down. You have to go down without touching the others. It's called the fast and the pilgrimage. And that? This game is called the jumping virgins. You need to be very strong to support the weight of the others. If one person collapses, the whole team loses. And when one team loses, there is a debriefing and everyone passes the buck, saying, if you were stronger, we wouldn't have lost. Now it's the tug of war. Are you playing? Yes, I'm going to have a go. Go on then. Go and defend Shingeti's honour. <laughs> It hasn't started yet. Don't stop pulling yet. Go on, Mohammed. Pull on the rope. Go on, the man in the blue boo boo. 
put it straight in front of you. Go on, pull. Don't give up. Go on, pull. Don't give up. No, pull harder. Pull harder. It makes me laugh because Mohammed, who has travelled a long way to see us, is getting beaten like everyone else. He should take it as a welcoming gesture. It's our way of saying, you are one of us. It's what you might call tough love. It makes me very happy to see a young man like him show an interest in tradition and culture and these manuscripts. I'm comforted by the fact that they won't disappear because the young are there to take responsibility for this heritage, this treasure which has existed since the dawn of time. On his return from Wadan, Muhammad was greeted by Saif. The old librarian wanted to take his apprentice to the big dune, which overlooks the surrounding area. Chinguetti must survive. You must pass this knowledge on. My generation of old peoples had its day. It's up to you youngsters to roll up your sleeves now. Bear in mind that you are defending the legacy of your forefathers, and that without you, it will soon disappear. It is all down to you, and you alone. Thank you. 